Welcome to this week's uh, video diary. We are in the committee room of the Scottish Parliament and the week began with spending some time with Neil McFadden where we discussed the improvement in the grant system that will allow elderly people to stay longer in their own homes. It's absolutely great that uh, they're, they're extending what you call the care and repair to a certain extent mm -hmm. because this is there's more than this and there's a wider scope it's not just only for older people right i've noticed that it's for people who are disabled yes as long as they have a house yes and they'll be, a, they'll be allowed a, a what do you call it one of these grants yeah and getting their needs assessed yes once your needs are assessed and it tells you what some of the some of the adaptations, but not all of them, because yes. there's more to that than that, and that's great. But, but people really need to inquire. Then. They need to know how they are. You know, I mean, I think they that's need to what approach the today. council. Yes. The, the council are the, are the people, especially according to this, it's, it's your council. It would also probably be the social work department who would assess your yes. need, or your or the healthy living who would assess. I think there's a helpline number somewhere as well. There's, yes, at the back, Duncan. Yes, there's, there's helplines at the back. Yeah. International Workers Memorial Day remembers those 6,000 men, women and children who die every day across the world as a result of industrial accidents or disease. In the Chamber debates this week, I had an opportunity to discuss an issue that is very, very important to people in the Inverclyde area, and that is investment in housing. It's going to result in this government failing people of all backgrounds, ages, they're failing young people who want their first home, they're failing older people who want to stay in their home, not prisoners in their home, and it's failing families and living in overcrowded and unsuitable homes. The, the, sadly, we know that this could have been different. We know that it could have been so different through the Inverclyde experience, um, where tenants uh, had the good sense to vote for housing stock transfer and are, are at this, this period of time enjoying growth and investment, new houses and modernisation. Of course, in doing so, they also, uh, they also empowered those communities and made those tenants stakeholders in their neighbour neighbourhoods. These tenants showed the confidence to take matters into their own hands, and they achieved this result of a significant investment, despite the best efforts of yourself, Minister, and your colleagues who fought tooth and nail uh, to oppose these measures. And just look what would it, what have been the situation uh, and we just need to look at our neighbours in, in Renfrewshire and throughout Lanarkshire to know what would be our fate if we hadn't, uh, had, thankfully, had the good sense uh, to vote for the house and stock transfer. Thanks for joining me. I hope you found it interesting. I'm interested in your views, and you can contact me at www.duncanmcneil.com.